That's right now, I don't know what happened. Um, anyway, I'm, I've come to... I've just been up on the trig point. Um, there's Crook's Peak over there. Oh, something's flashing on the screen I've never seen before. It's a little man walking. Or a little woman. I haven't seen that before. So I'm just adjusting the focus. It goes out of focus. You touch very quickly. So anyway, there's a lovely scene over there. Look, there's some um, Brent Knoll over there in the distance in the mist. Look at that. Isn't that great. And down there, I'm not going there today. Is St Andrew's Church at Compton Bishop, where Barbara, my cousin, who passed away a year ago actually yesterday she's got family she lives in her family are in Canada a present family but she's got ancestors the Wookiees that could be buried in there she's got people buried in that little tiny graveyard and she lives in big Canada but um, she's got Somerset connections here and I used to do a lot of walks on her behalf actually and send to her the landscape the scenery um, of where her ancestors would have been um, aware of all that scenery. Right, no, so I'm up here. I was going to follow a path down there. I thought, no, I'll go back up. Um, there's, I can't take, I've taken pictures of the trig point. I've tied my hair up now. got quite hot, actually. But I know it'll chill up later. Um, right, the time. Let's see what the time is, everyone. It's uh, Friday the 27th or 8th. I think it's the 26th. Well, it could be the 27th today. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Something like that of February. And um, it's... But you're not, it's 10.43. Even my my um, mobile phone is playing up. It's gone yellow as well. I don't know what that means. Um, so basically, I'm just going for a little walk on. Cross plane was, before I came up the hill, cross plane was down the bottom, which is a place where you can sometimes come in from the church on that angle. <clears throat> uh, where I'm walking now, Waverly Down, is uh, where I have sung the David Bowie song. Everyone says hi quite a few times here. Um, I've done that quite a few times. I'll just zoom back again now the people have moved away. There's the trig point back there. I took some good shots. The camera does play up sometimes with varying temperatures. You can't see, at the moment, we can't see Glastonbury Tor at all, which should be over there somewhere. But there's lovely views of Brent Knoll in the mist, beautiful views. And they won't be getting any sunshine because they're all covered in cloud. Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. I won't sing it all the time. They said you went on a big ship. They said you sailed away. Didn't have the words to say. I should have read a letter saying what is what. Hope the weather's good, not too hot for you. Everyone says hi. Don't stay in a bad place if they don't care how you are. Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. 
Everyone says hi. <clears throat> Come over to the wall, you can get views from over here. I'm not singing the whole of that Bowie song. I just done it because um There's a little gully here, look. Anybody coming? No. Right. It's a beautiful view that though, isn't it? Look. I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, okay, the camera's been playing up. Change of temperature, I think. Anyway, there's Crook's Peak. I'm not sure whether I'm climbing up there yet. I don't always go up there, but because it's a nice, gentle day, and there's not as many people out at the moment as I thought, but I think they'll come. I think they'll suddenly see people come, and I reckon more tomorrow. So there's that lovely scene over there I was talking about, is Brent Knoll. Beautiful scene, that is, with the clouds and the mist. Very, very... Scenic. <laughs> no sign of... We might not see Glastonbury until later. Anyway. Here's a view over here. We've got Western Supermare. i just zoom in see if we can see the thinning of the woods at that end. It's not very noticeable when you look at it. It's a big fort actually if you think about it. There's a bit there where it's thinning. It's not really a great deal, really, is it? It's not really a great deal. Yeah, it's nice to have it to myself. Um, got the M5 over there. Clevedon over there. We winds come back there. You've got the whatever they're doing. Something to do with with um, Hinkley Point going along. That could be a bypass. I reckon that could be a Banwell bypass myself. But they're laying pipes down because uh, there's Banwell Hill Fort there, look, which I want to get on and before the summer comes, I do want to try and get up on that flat bit again to get some pictures before the, all the. Um, but as I actually, it's a good job I'm looking now because they've put black cows up there. That's interesting. That's a good job I didn't think of going up there today then. They put, well, they put two, they could be bulls to guard it, I spat. I won't be surprised to stop people going up there. And there's, a bit, there's another bit of Banwell wood there. Yeah, so it's a good job I zoomed in then. Caught those black cows, keeping cows up there. So this is the um, West Mendip Way, which I have been on many, many times, by the way. I've recorded this many, many times. Up there, oh, that's, that's, oh yeah, there's a pony. You don't often see them over this far. But there's some hay there for them to eat. Yeah, it's a beautiful day for a walk up here, actually. Really is. I've picked a good day because. When it's windy and blustery, it's a different ball game up here. Totally different ball game, <laughs> as you can imagine. I'm not going to go down to Compton Bishop. That would be a separate trip, bro. Perhaps wouldn't walk as far as I've done already if I did that. Here's a little seat. Um, it did have a plaque on it once in memory of somebody. Um, it's a bit more damaged than it used to be. 1937 to 2000 HBP, whoever that was, and um, only a hill, but 
all of life to me. Yeah, that's right. That was somebody put that there for him. So that's nice. That I got a feeling there was it was a bit tidier around there at one time. Only a hill, but all of life to me. Yeah, I'll just do a, a small video of me. I've got my hair tied up, and I probably look a bit flushed. But over there in the background, you've got um, Brent Knoll covered in mist. I don't know if it'll show. And then behind me, you've got Crook's Peak, which I'm heading for. And then I'll turn back round again. I'll probably edit that bit out. Um, there were people that were had started this walk at the same time as me, and they've either gone back or they've they're down there a bit further down. Um, I'm just going to go around this way a bit because you can see the church. I've already taken photos, and don't forget, this is 2021 now. I haven't been out over this way or on any of the hills since about it could be October even. It's October or November. I'm not sure if December. I certainly haven't been out on here for a year, but I haven't been out and about. Um, I've had my jab, not many people about. Um, so everyone's taking risks I'm afraid I have been isolating quite a lot from people today was the first time I apart from when I had to go on a bus two weeks ago to, in order to get my jab I had to go on a bus and it was a bad experience because there were five people on there with no masks and they were causing trouble they were causing a lot of trouble with people who were wearing their masks because they were a young couple, probably in their 30s, with three children, and none of them had masks on. So I, had, I hadn't even had the jab then, but I had to go on that bus because it was a long way off, and it was freezing cold and snowing. And uh, there's St Andrew's Church, Compton Bishop down there. I will get over there again another time. I don't think I've been over... I might have done it last year. Might have, I might have done it, I'm not sure. I do like going there. The church won't be open anyway. I'm glad I looked over off Banwell Fort area though, because I would, that was on my list. That could have been today, but now I know there's black cows up there. No way. There's no way I will risk going in a field with black cows because I know the herds over there and they're they're a bit um, jumpy over Banwell Way there's quite a few herds black herds um, and they are they are um, curious that herd so I wouldn't even risk going in there and the thing is you might not know you got up on the top that there are cows in there because it's a plateau on top so that was good that I did that so, I wanted to get up there in the winter to see to see more because um, the trees wouldn't have any leaves on. You could see more of the what's going on over there because basically it's mainly private. Unless you want to buy a plot for thirty thousand, they go for about thirty thousand. Some of them. If you aren't allowed to build on there, apparently you can put a shed up. And of course, some people do want to get away go and sit up in their shed in the wood <sighs> sounds quite good actually as long as you can perhaps make a cup of tea you know sounds quite good to me I wouldn't mind a, one, a bit myself <laughs> although obviously it takes land away from the public and there's like private signs up everywhere because people have bought their plot you see of course they're going to put a private sign up Lovely scene that, isn't it? Western in the butt, right over there, look. That's Western right over there. Western Woods, our hill fort. Lovely view, I'm going to take a picture from here actually. I'll be walking all over there in a minute. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the crook peak, I might do. I might do. I haven't decided. I probably will. Over and out.